stopped recording. And we are recording. Hello. Hello. Today we have come together to discuss some stuff in universe. It's mm -hmm. it's like an extended world building reinforcement session. Uh, and uh, we're doing this to our own benefit mostly but uh, we're also going to try to get some video fodder on the side so there is that mm -hmm. and in the previous uh, videos yeah go on oh i was no, i was going to get straight into it but it sounds like you're going to recap so i'm going to let you recap recap mm -hmm. recap one so in the first video in this session uh, we sort of try to vocalize uh, how the reality mechanics work in universe as a, a as a general yeah the eye of the store mm -hmm. make a tr the trunk of reality mm -hmm. <laughs> rude gesture everywhere uh, <laughs> and uh, in the in the second uh, video of this session aka in the previous video uh, we rounded up some of the practical applications or the exploits of how the universe works and more specifically how certain characters use the reality workings in their benefit sort of exploiting the game mechanics so to speak mm -hmm. and now uh, I am suggesting that we uh, take some time to examine one of the major uh, characters or characters with major agency who has influenced many others uh, also who hasn't quite popped up in the stories that we have released quite yet mm -hmm. and uh, in one short which will become a chapter in a bigger story we have referred to a version of him as the doctor Mm -hmm. uh, full name Dr. Savonius <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, not created by us but right now we are taking our GM's uh, character on a longer ride and uh, mm -hmm. running this version of him so that uh, he would do stuff in the universe and influence everybody with, else with Keo's blessing I yes, should add yes with He's Keo's blessing fully, fully behind this. Yep. so the author who created this character uh, back in the day uh, is aware that we are running a different version of this character and, mm -hmm. and uh, taking him to taking him to a tour all right so that's so actually uh, quite a good point in the previous video we touched on murphy station briefly mm -hmm. and there's a version of S servo there mm -hmm. but in the scribe and the doctor version that's a uh, artificial intelligence representation mm -hmm. of the Doctor, but there's also uh, the Doctor himself in the in the stream that we're in, uh, in the stream that the Corey taking flight story mm -hmm. takes takes place in. Like there's an actual physical person called Doctor yeah. Servo. So so yes, the Doctor has uh, not to be mistaken with Doctor Who. We don't do Doctor Who, although our stuff might get a little bit timey wimey. But I don't know. I don't know about you. I have but never seen a single episode of Doctor Who in my life. <laughs> I, I might have seen some, but uh, I, I, I am I am not a monk who fans. So if if some things uh, overlap, it's by accident. Mm. So let's 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 call our servo. I think. Uh, so the the fact that uh, there was one story where. Uh, an artificial person persona what was the word artificial personality yeah mm -hmm. persona fabrica uh, that, <laughs> that, that that was basically a advanced uh, control program running a facility modeled after uh, after the person because reasons <laughs> but yeah there there are many iterations of servo I most, say ego. <laughs> most of them bad mm. so i think uh 
Uh, I think Servo began as a villain in certain stories. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not to uh, give away... Well, this is a big point, and I think it just comes out in the story anyway, but so originally in the forums, um, there was always going to be some shadow company or some shadow mm. person who was responsible for Corey's amnesia. But it never it was never a case of he's got amnesia and plus all these abilities. It was just, oh, he's got amnesia, he's woken up here <laughs> and people are sort of observing him. No, there's there's some more stuff to that. Um, and I think one of the reasons that we call him the Doctor is because of um, when the characters encounter him, he is doing work on people. Right? He's he's modifying people he's, he's changing people uh, when Nux and Chaos get captured for example he starts trying to modify them and yeah trying meanwhile to I don't have that experience so the, the stories that I have encountered uh, in the forum and after uh, mm -hmm. I I don't have that aspect of him so I I, I have when I came on board I jumped to the stories where it was already made apparent that there is a Servo or Servonius who is the... Yeah, yeah there is a mad scientist uh, element to him mm -hmm. at all times, but I already encountered the Servo who was running the Murphy station and who is uh, uh, manipulating uh, reality and or surfing the reality because he's trying to achieve uh, not a bad thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So so basically for me the doctor connection is much weaker than uh, than for you. Mm. Yeah, that's uh that's really like core stuff of old forum. Mm -hmm. Um but new forum because it focuses more on like the deja vu Murphy kind of stuff. You you see one version of servo and I've got this massive long history with the with the wrong. Oh, mm -hmm. with, I'll call him a wrongun. He is a wrongun. I've got <laughs> I've got more of a connection with the wrongun servo than I have to the Murphy servo. So this might actually play better because if you're more in tune with the Murphy ster servo and I'm more in tune with the old, we can play up to that basically. Mm -hmm. I think your internet connection is uh, way is waning because there's some lagging and delaying and all that let's well, let's, uh, let's wait a little bit okay give me a second my own picture is lagging a bit as well but i think that's just that's just uh how the laptop works but okay. have you got a screen server coming up no hmm. let's see okay I, I think you're back in sync maybe Mm -hmm. uh, anywho, I was wondering if maybe you could do a little flashback or a little sort of uh, tour in time uh, from uh, from those old days when you and Kyo were working out the stories and what it was like then, what the mm. what the server was like then. Like I, I know those were the different stories, but we still. Uh, we still have that uh, story DNA in the current adventures, so that would help to understand what mm. we're doing now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so me and me and Keo. I don't know if I've reiterated this story, and this might be going back too far. But me and Keo came to the back of uh, another forum. Um, and we didn't like the way they did things, so we mm. left and started our own sort of Serenity Firefly based RP. And then after that, we sort of got to the point where it's like, well, this is cool, but we want to create our own universe and we want to do our own stories and you know, you know, tell some really interesting stuff within the confines of our universe, not someone else. So we then went and set up uh, Space Chaos, which was its original name, SpaceChaos.comForums.com. Um, I don't even know if that's still a thing anymore or if it just redirects to the new one um, and we worked together setting up 
our own universe and one of the first stories in that was a story called picking up trash Mm -hmm. i don't know if it was called that at the time but picking up trash is what it's called now Mm -hmm. and essentially that is the starting point Corey, one of my characters sort of comes to becomes co co uh, coherent at 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 a bar basically Mm -hmm. uh and he has got massive amnesia, doesn't know how he, how he ended there. And at the same time, Keo's character, Trouble, was working on a ship outside of the settlement, and he came to the settlement uh, to get a drink and chill out for the evening. He encounters Corey, but before the two of them can really interact with one another, a ship crashes on the settlement, and they have to deal with that whole palaver. So, um, from there, the stories on the forum sort of just went in free flow. Mm-hmm. We were in a place at the end of one sort of stop, or there wasn't even one of the massive problems with the forum was that there was no stop point to any of the mm. stories. It's much more cohesive now, but back in the day, you'd be ten pages deep in a thread, and it would be one long story that started <laughs> at them on Tucker Nine, and it would be going all the way through to like Smuggler's Run, for example. Mm-hmm. Like we'd get all the way there, mm-hmm. and that's like two or three books worth of information on the forum Mm -hmm. basically and throughout all of this uh, uh, I'm not big on dealing I don't like personal bad guys Mm -hmm. there's this thing like in Sharknado the reason it's a it's a tornado of sharks is because there's no like personal like you do Mm -hmm. you don't have to write a personal villain character Mm -hmm. basically I don't really like writing villains they're not my strong point Mm -hmm. um for example, I was working on Split Personality 1. I named the bad guy Sinis, for example. Uh, <laughs> because that sounds like sinister, right? That, that's bad guy shit. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, yeah, job done. Take the rest of the day off. No, that's not cool. So I don't... <laughs> I'm not big on bad guys, but Keo really took that in his stride mm. and he just ran with it, right? He created Servo. He created sort of like... Um, we had other people join the setting... And there were always minor bad guys that sort of turned up and tried to scupper the team's plans. Mm-hmm. And it and it usually worked out that they were pawns of Servo. Mm. And they were trying to do things for Servo, right? So even if it wasn't explicitly stated in the thread, um, I think one of the characters we used to have was called Kaith, and she was on the run. Uh, she was mm-hmm. another test experiment like Corey. Mm-hmm. She was on the run, though. She'd managed to escape. And I think in Split Personality 1, the whole deal is them trying to track down her for this this uh, Galen dude. And it turned out that mm-hmm. way, way, way after the story happened, Galen turned out to be a pawn of Servo. Mm-hmm. And he was working on Servo's behalf to recover Kai. So we all tried to tie it back to Servo a little bit mm-hmm. in the main stories. And I think that might have been a bit of a mistake. Like, it's good in Split Personality 1 that, that Sinis isn't connected to Servo. Mm. I think that's good. Um, I think Tayborn in Split Personality 2, he's not connected to Servo. And again, it's been, the Split... Okay, I think the key thing here is the Split Personality arc has basically nothing to do with Servo. Mm-hmm. The Taken Flight arc is heavily involved with Servo. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where the distinction comes out. But yeah, that was basically it. In the forum, Keo took... Uh, he created the quote unquote bad guys and it's not really that black and white because Servo in this reality yeah he's working sort of to capture Corey, Nux, Chaos, all these people but actually his long term goal is doing it for the benefit of humanity as a whole within Mm -hmm. his time stream right he's trying to prevent some big bad awful shit going down and he thinks the only way to do that is by doing what he's but the the Alex, the Alexis squads maybe figure out another way. I don't know. How does how does Deja Vu end? We don't know. Like, we don't it's know. So up in the air right now. Exactly. So the, as far as I know, they could still lose at this point, right? So I don't know what's going to happen. But that's where it started. That's where Servo comes from. And now I'm out of breath. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so uh the first encounters or first uh uh first forum stories and all that uh he was the bad guy or or at least for mm-hmm. the heroes 
for the protagonists or for your characters he was the bad guy and then when I joined the uh, I think it's the same forum that is still operational now mm -hmm. I think. yeah yeah uh, so when I joined uh, the storyline then our heroes uh, <laughs> after some shenanigans they they also run into a servo and uh, they assume that this is same old same old uh, mm -hmm. this is somebody they will have to fight but uh, then this uh, new revamped uh, servo ends up uh, recruiting them uh, for the benefit of humanity and all that's in it <laughs> and the timelines and, and all that <laughs> so so th this is where we find out that, that uh, the quote unquote Murphy servo or the Dr. Servonius that runs the Murphy station uh, is one of many like him the, there, there are there are many <laughs> there are many like him, but this one is ours, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and uh, I think one of the things is that he has to work against the the many versions of him or the many evil servos. So so he's kind of in a different end of the spectrum than the many servos that we have encountered before. Mm. Uh, he is aware of their crimes. Or, or he's aware of their atrocities at the same time he kind of understands them but he also has to work against them and I think some of the uh, some of the quote unquote local servos or local timeline uh, doctors also work against the greater goal and at the same time they are sort of the they have this inquisitive curious capability of curiosity uh, and the cap and, and the sort of drive to drive to discover and to influence things and I think one of the themes that we we are setting up is that several local servos are on the verge of discovering uh, too much about the how the how the reality works and also want a piece of that pie so uh, so there there is this dynamic that we're trying to bring in more and more is that when there is this sort of good guy good guys headquarter aka Murphy station aka uh, the central operations of the uh, Dr. Sabonius that is ours when they send out missions to different time streams or different uh, offshoots of reality they might encounter the different versions of him that are not on board with this mission and mm -hmm. who are actually trying to uh, wrestle into more power themselves and so on so so, so there is th th this is this might become one of the recurring elements here and there I also feel like Murphy Servo lets a lot of the the alternates get away with stuff because occasionally they contribute to Murphy's own yeah, research. Yeah, yeah, that's and that is that is another way to exploit the uh, branching reality is that you can learn from. Uh, uh, I think one of the points is that you don't have to try to manually control each and every timeline. But you can learn from them and apply that knowledge mm -hmm. uh, closer to the uh, eye of the storm, aka the trunk of reality. So, in many cases, uh, there is this certain uh, blasé attitude, or or certain uh, uh, you could even say certain coldness or cruelness toward the local reality. Is that yeah, bad shit is happening, but uh, we're not going to interfere. Because in the big picture, uh, it's not going to matter anyway. Instead, we are we are going to take notes and apply the knowledge to the bigger reality. But at mm -hmm. the same time, all that matters to the locals. So, <laughs> so 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 there is this great great dilemma: is that those who know the bigger picture are very indifferent to the local events, but. Uh, as as many of the characters in our stories are 
part of those local events, it really matters to them. Mm. There's also the element that Murphy Station actively disrupts uh, the alternates' uh, research into the time stream. Like they actively try to keep them down. Uh, yeah, that's that's when uh, that's when we speak about the local servos. Mm -hmm. But uh, I right now I meant in a more general sense, uh, not just the local servos, but uh, the local anybody. So this right. uh, so this circles back to the uh, always warm in base camp concept, is that when the Smith that was stranded and worked her way back to Murphy, and has developed the sort of master plan how to uh, how to prevent bad things from happening to her people in the timelines that haven't happened yet or that, that are still up in the potentials and she pitches that plan to Murphy Central so, oh I, I have figured it out I know how to save my people well the, the, mm -hmm. the my people who will still come uh, let's do this and uh, the headquarters say like no this uh, the, the, <laughs> the the greater reality is more important you can't you can't just uh, jump in to help your village so to speak because that might interfere with the greater timeline and uh, and and like you have to you have to be aware that if you if you meddle too much on a local level we also might catch the attention of the uh, interdimensional boogeyman and we don't want that mm -hmm. so <laughs> we are not going to save your village because bigger picture mm -hmm. uh, and she will have none of that <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's, that's sort of the uh, kickoff of that story which mm -hmm. I might tell from that perspective some other day but not now <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so that is one sort of major theme when it comes to uh, Servo and the Murphy Station and the quote-unquote good guys is that once they have brought into this bigger, greater level of players they are supposed to not care about the individual time streams anymore so, so there is that I think that would be a good place to potentially wrap it up. Bank, bank the recording. I think we covered some ground. I agree. Servo, you know the tale of three servos. <laughs> okay, let's see. OBS, behave now. Please. Please, yes. And let's stop that recording. Bye.